What the heck? I guess I'm in the middle. Um, I am, in fact, in the middle of the year. July 2nd is the midpoint of the year. There are 182 days behind and 182 days ahead. Now, I knew this was coming for a few days, and I had some great little takes on what it meant to be in the middle planned. I was going to stand in the middle of the road and talk about being in the middle. I was going to stand between two trees and go to the library and go to the M section and find as many books with middle in the title as I could. And then I stepped outside this morning and the heat shot all those ideas to heck. So ever the one to adapt, I thought I'd just talk about those middle things that I enjoy a lot. There is Middle March by George Eliot, which is the quintessential English novel. And not a bad read, if you've got the time. And can handle 19th century aristocracy. Okay, maybe it's not the best novel out there, but hey, if you're in a Downton Abbey, check out Middle March. Of course, it dawns on me that that might not be Middle March I'm thinking of. Okay, so if it's not, what, 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 just give it a try. I am a huge fan of Malcolm in the Middle. One of my ideas was to have Walter White come and introduce that fact, but I could not get him on such short notice. I didn't even try. I just assumed he wouldn't come. What with him being dead and all. Walter White. Not the guy who played him. Although he did die in Godzilla. Spoiler alert. Sorry. That should come before I say the spoiler. I confess that I am a fan of many things Middle Earth and have at one point in my life owned a map that size of Middle Earth. I don't have it anymore, as far as you know. I am also a fan of Midway. No, not the airport. Although, I've been to worse. And no, not the battle, because that kind of sucked for everyone involved. No, Midway, the game company that brought us such classics as Ms. Pac-Man and Mortal Kombat and a whole bunch of other quarter eaters in between that uh, I spent way too much time playing. They're gone now. Bankrupt. Ominous thunder, as I said that. Some middle things I'm not too much a fan of. The Middle Ages. Granted, knights and castles and damsels in distress and dragons. No, that's... Game of... Sex and Swords, I think it's called, or whatever it is. But the real Middle Ages, that was when the Black Plague and the Crusades and, yeah, so many massive human tragedies happened. So, although some of the writings that come out of there, like Chaucer's Canterbury Tales and the writings of Julian of Norwich, which I happen to have mentioned in a previous vlog, some others. Okay, so there were some bright spots during the Middle Ages. It wasn't, after all, the Dark Ages. But they were contained, I guess, in the middle. I don't know. Anything from the 5th to the 15th century. And let's face it, 1492 counts as Middle Age. Does that really count as Middle Age? I don't think it counts as Middle Age. Eh, I don't even want to give credit to Columbus anyway. Because, of, yeah, he wasn't a nice man. Okay, so forget the Middle Ages. I don't like them. Middle school. That was two years of my life that sucked. Nothing like the awkwardness of an overweight pubescent boy trying to figure out what the heck is going on with his life and his body and everything else. Oh, I hated middle school. And I don't like mean people. Get it? Mean? Math geeks get it. Okay. Well, there's also middle child syndrome, but since I'm an only child, I just have spoiled rotten syndrome. So, but I'll tell you what. Let me know in the comments below if you are a middle child and if you have middle child syndrome or whatever... Complaints you want to lodge against being the middle child. This has been daily vlog number 183. One half of a year to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow.